Okay, we've got Diamond Billiards, the best in the business, Inside Pool Magazine. We're presenting Donnie Davis and Cody Pratt in the Midwest Challenge Cup. It's a race to five. They're playing nine ball. They're at Dennis's place. Really nice spot down there in Missouri. One of the sponsors is Bass Pro Shop. And next to Bass Pro Shop is Angler's Lodge. Fishing country. If you like the fish, you can't do better than Angler's Lodge. And if you like the fish, you know that Bass Pro Shop will take the last quarter you've got. All of those lures are not for the fish. They're for us. <laughs> I want the green one. <laughs> True. This is... <laughs> All right, this is Bert Kinister and Anthony Lander. Yep. Videos.bertkinister.com with an E, Bert with an E. All right, Anthony, who do you like here? I haven't seen Cody play. I've seen Donnie play. Donnie plays pretty good. We'll see how Cody does. Donnie plays pretty good. We've seen him play before. He is a real player. No, he plays real good, yeah. God, I have room for a full table here, and I don't have one. Shame. It is a I shame. Don't have, I don't have room, but I do have one. I just can't use the sides. That's okay. That's a bottle. Here we go. I will go straight through the balls. His, cute, his shaft bent. He looked like Mike Siegel there for a second. Until he stood up. Well, this looks runnable, except for one to the two is pretty tough. It is pretty tough. That's why I'd be drawing into the nine ball or trying to hit the nine ball somehow. But that's the sinister in me. <laughs> the less sinister in <laughs> me, I, I, I'd be looking for safety. I don't think I could reliably pull that up. So. I'd never play safe here. I'd be drawing this ball back. Pretty you much would be like correct. That. <laughs> well, if I, if I knew I was going to hit it that good, for sure I'd do it. Wow, one camera thinks the table is green, the other one thinks it's blue. Cool. But you can tell what the balls are. That's pretty good. Take that any. That was a look at that. Uh, woof, woof. He flirted with disaster, and disaster did not flirt back. He's got a nice stroke. He does. See how he stays down, comes straight through the ball? It's a nice stroke. I've never seen the other guy shoot, but if he wins the first game, I want him. <laughs> I am holding judgment, probably till the end. I want to see how Cody wins. Hey, the betting windows close after the end of the first game. Oh, no. He's all right. He's all right, I think. Hard to say. I think he's okay, but he's still, it's not, it's no easy task to draw that cue ball past the side pocket after he pockets the six. Straight low. No low left, no low right. Absolutely straight low. Go into that side pocket. Just straight low, you'll draw it right past there. If you put low right on it, you're kind of a favorite to scratch. If you make the ball. Oh, oh. He smells the cheese. He's like a rat that smells the cheese. I think he smells blood, not cheese. <laughs> Donnie just aimed a seven at the, at the point. There you go. Those nice. holes are so big. I want him. I want him for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed two carbon fiber cues. But he seems yeah. to have them. 
Everybody's got one. I don't want one. I don't want to spend Angler's much. Lodge. If you guys had ever, I've stayed at Angler's Lodge. Couldn't be nicer. Dennis's place. Great. You see how great the pool room is. Angler's Lodge. They are everywhere. The fishing is good, man. They'll tell you at the front desk where to go for what you want to catch. Oh, that's awesome. They will. That's cool. And right next door, they'll sell you a boat to catch it in. <laughs> okay, this is the first time we see Cody. Cody Pratt. Oh, he parked the cue ball. I like the way he hit him. And he made a ball. Yeah, this young he's man got, might have something. He's got a runnable table here. Well, and if he runs out, I renege on my bet. I want my dollar back. He hit that well, stayed down, stayed straight. He did, and I like that shot coming out of the corner. I do too. Five in the side, six in the side. Oh, five in the corner. And you want to get on the other side of the six, you want to pass this side pocket to have a nice angle to hit it soft to get on the seven. He went forward, but he's on the wrong side of it. Well, he's got it. He has more work to do. He's going to try and follow it around. That's the way you do it. Yeah, I would never have tried to follow it around. You end up like this. He's got to shoot it in what to us is the right corner to the, to the left corner from this angle. He's got to hit the eight coming down. Would be best for him. Oh, oof, 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 oof. He dogged it. <laughs> this isn't easy either. How would you this hit it, no, Anthony? I was sitting here thinking this is no no gimme. I think it's I might not. hit rail first. I think I might hit rail first with a bit of left English and try and come up our side of the eight ball. Come up, so to get on the eight ball, three rails. Yeah. What about you? That's, I like it. Nah. He didn't have any English on it. He didn't hit rail first either. You know, this is all makeable. It's just a little harder than it had to be. Huh? This is no give me. Oh. Oh. That's a tough yeah. shot. I think sure these is. guys are headed towards the semifinals or something. You know, this is big for both of them. Well, here can I like just nice straight thing. low. Yeah, our right corner, right, maybe bounce off the rail. Maybe. Or hit us not to get to the rail. Yeah. Probably bouncing off the rails the best decision. Well, I think he's got some wood in his queue somewhere. I didn't know they still made him with wood. Score is one to one, right? Well, you want your buck back? My buck? <laughs> I've got all the butt I need. <laughs> ah, your dollar. <laughs> okay, we're yeah, one to one. I do, absolutely, I want my dollar back. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is going to be a good match because these guys can both play. It looks like it, doesn't it? sure does i'm happy to watch a good match we were both watching uh billiards last night that was uh golly what was the name of it silver, uh, silver, silver cup, cup open yeah from california really good three cushion players yes that was a pleasure it's very hard to understand as a non three cushion player but man it's a great game it is a great game that's what I want to play. I want to you know, play three cushion all the way up. But there are no three cushion tables 
it crosses about 60 miles north of here in Chicago. In Dallas, they had one room with just three cushion tables. I never went in it. It was $80 an hour to play. You know, just before the pandemic started, I was in Florida. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of the pool hall, but they had maybe six, seven beautiful heated three cushion tables and the players to go with it. There were real players there. It's a pleasure to watch them play. I really enjoyed the tournament last night. Clearly, they weren't the best in the world, but I saw one guy run an eight. That'd be enough to I make saw, me yep. hit the door. Yep. <laughs> All right, this is I a pretty run play, I see him playing the nine ball right here. Yeah. I think I'd hit it pretty it, soft. If you miss that nine ball. Oh, the four's still there. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, that's a six. I got to uh, take my sunglasses off. Well, he might get that nine off the five here. That's absolutely what he's looking for. Good shot. Good shot. We that's got two, us a one. game here. Yep. This is a game. All right, I'm back on for the dollar. <laughs> well, the pool hall I used to play had it closed, but it, they had a three cushion table and I used to mess around on it. I once made two in a row, and I think I was walking about a foot and a half off the ground from them. Two in a row, but three in a row is hard. Oh. Two in a row was hard. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Three points. Pool of Holla close. The best billiard close in the business. Pool of Holla. Tell them I sent you. I'm, on a, I'm a holic of some kind. All right. This is not so trivial. No. But we'll see if he can play here. I would be worried about this combo. And my worry would be that you're going to bury that three ball and not yeah. be able to get to it after you shoot yeah. it. I think you're right. I don't know. I guess there's no wood on his cue. Maybe that's one of the Shane Van Boning cues. This guy's an extension on there. It's all oh. white. Here we go. This is a nice way to play it. I hit that nine as hard as I can. Uh, I tell everybody to get out of the way, put their hard hats on. <laughs> I know the only way I can miss is if, it, is if it stops rolling before it finds a hole. He's got an almost natural cross corner. Not quite, but not too far off, I think. It is pretty close. It is pretty close. And there it goes. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Give me my dollar back. <laughs> that was a great shot. It was that a was real good. good shot. You saw it, man. You called it. Every once in a while, the squirrel gets a nut. <laughs> That's me, I'm the squirrel. <sighs> no. McDermott Cues. I had one I played so good with in the last six or seven years. I traded it off and made a deal for real expensive cue, and I want to get it back, and it's already gone. That's how I really played out. well with it, yeah. That's how it always works out. Everybody I know has a cue that they sold and wish they didn't. Yeah. I have a collection of cues I never use because I'm too scared to sell them. <laughs> Man, these guys break good. Yeah, a little tough with the 5-8. I have a chance to open it. 5-7. 5-7, you're right. Yeah. But I think you got a chance to open that up. He's got to try and move it here if he's going to move it. Or tie the one up with the 8. Shoot the one into the rail, come back, 
next to the eight and get the cue ball to go down the table. Or if he could spit it into the, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm getting is as complicated a, as Grady. Is, is the three? Is that the three ball there or the six ball? I can't. I thought it was the six, but I think there's that was a six the, ball right there next to the. Go ahead, go ahead. Between the eight and the five. There's no three ball on the table. So you can't do. It. Yeah, this is tough now. Now you got to place. Got to figure something out. Well, you know he could kick that one ball up and try and bury behind that uh, six five eight you can catch our left side of it That's a good shot. That's a good shot. No, the dollar's back. I, 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 I want my dollar back, and I'm hitting the door. You want your buck. <laughs> That's all I needed to see, sport fans. Well, maybe you can tie up another ball here. I don't think there's an easy way to hit that one. He's going to prove me wrong, isn't he? There's no easy way to hit that one. You're in the wrong spot to be. He might hit it. But not if he hits the eight uh -huh. first. It won't count. Hit the eight, yeah. I will see what he has. That five is still the big problem. What do you do? What's your solution to deal with the five? I don't have a good solution. I think you got to get behind the two and move that two into that wall of balls somehow, but I don't think that's a high probability thing. How about you? I don't know. You, you, Freeze them up that way. I don't like that. But you've got to move it somehow. Right now, if you could, if you could hit it with low, uh, low right and hit the seven, you'd move the five towards the hole and be on the two. Shane Van Boren could do it. Efren Reyes could do it. I can do a one out of ten. That's what he tried to do, man. It sure is what he tried to do now. He parachuted in Danny McTerritory. <laughs> I think yeah, that well, is a nice shame, Van Bowden. Hey, you got a three railer. It might be. He could play a three railer and get that two ball behind the, like, towards that pocket. Yeah. Maybe make it. Yeah. I'd hit that thing into the nine if I could as hard as I could. You're 50 50 to get to come out good if you do that. And if you make it, you win 100% of the time. In the modern world, none of, nobody that plays league play will do things like that. It's a puzzler. Yeah. He's got to play to make it, I think. No, you were right. He played safe. He put it That's near the money. I don't like it either. But the, you know, all the five. I, really, I, w I think I would have played that three rails and tried to bury the two in with the eight, seven, five, six. I think that's a much better option. 
game is easy from here. It sure is. I would play the kiss off the two end of the nine. For sure. That's not there's no future in potting the two. That's the problem. That's that's the deal. So why not fire at the money? Yes. When you hit it, that good sport bangs! <laughs> Holy crap! I, know, I, just I want my dollar back. What happened? <laughs> this dollar's going everywhere, man. I These are know. two good players. Let's face it. Uh, you These can't even get a sandwich players. at a McDonald's with a dollar. <laughs> Joshua Filler just won the world champion or whatever they're doing in Europe. He says he's going straight to McDonald's for dinner. <laughs> Yesterday, I think that was, he wanted, maybe the day before, him and his partner. I don't remember the partner's day. Yeah, he's a good player, though. Oh, God, he might be the best alive. Probably is the best alive right now. He's yeah. nice. Kind of control on that break. You know, it, take, it, it takes some doing to not overpower a break on a small table like this. It does. You want to control that cue ball? Well, if it's he can strange. hit the side of this well, ball, if he can hit the left side of this ball off the bank, uh, I don't know. Maybe he can. Yeah. Oh, he made it. That was hard to see that it was makeable from where we are. At least for me. Yeah, I thought he had to kick at it. He's in good shape. He is in good shape. He should get out if he's the player he looks like hitting a break shot. Or a rough up. That's the second time he's hit a ball like that at a corner pocket. He was up and running, headed backwards before there was even contact. Actually, he's more upset about that than he. Yeah, I think Donnie. I mean, I think Donnie's going to win this. I not say. I'm not betting my dollar again, but I think Donnie's going to win this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Not going to hit that better. I remember we were doing a, a match a few days ago, and the guy was down. Uh, I was playing. He was playing Donnie, right? He beat Donnie. Four one. Four one, yeah. Remember what it was, but it was four one down. And he came back and won it. Raised to he five. come back and won it. That's right. It was a nice stroke. It didn't hey, well, he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't look real happy about it, but just hit we'll this, the this ball one ball. straight low, pocketed in the corner. It's really not that hard. You realize that's a half ball hit. You concentrate on the half ball hit, not the hole. Well, he's going to roll into the seven ball. I'd never do this. Unless I can hit it almost that good. That's so hard to control. Yeah. What's the safety here, Anthony? That's a good question. You don't have a lot of options here. If you play... It's going to happen quick. You have to pick that seven. You gotta bury that seven behind the nine, I guess, and get the cue ball up to the end rail. Play for distance. Well, young man, it's either the it's time to either come with it or go home. You're running bring out that, of time. Bring that bank shot. Bring that bank shot. That's it. Bring that bank shot.
Man, his fundamentals look so good. He got there. You know, he's, that's nice and safe. I think all he's really done is miss two balls. Is that correct? It is. I, I thought he was going to pot that uh, cross corner, and he'd be out. I think he's scared right now. He's playing to keep from losing, but that's no way to win. Nope. I know exactly how that feels. I hate it. I've done it. It's a mistake. It is. It, it really doesn't help you. No. You play better when you just trust yourself. Uh, trust. Wow. He almost caught it in the side. Good. He hit it pretty right, good. Well. Well, Cody makes it, he should make it in the side. Come around three rails, 38. If he does not, I, I have way too much faith in him. Yeah, the only rough part, you can tie up with that nine ball. That could happen. You gotta be careful. But he can't miss this. Now here he comes. And he's gonna do exactly what you said. Ow, ow. It's well, so if tough. you know when that you much about the future, how do you feel about the lottery? <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is, if you <laughs> see that as a possibility, you got to find another way. I believe it. You know, once it's in your head, once that gets in your head that that's a possibility, you almost aim for it. It's really awful, but true. You know how hard that is to do if you aim for it? If you oh, really try to get it. there, <laughs> if you really I try know. to stop it behind the nine, it's not easy. One in ten. It's one in ten. But if you just look at it and say, I'm not going to put it there, you can put it there five on ten. <laughs> You've done this before. <laughs> I have. <laughs> I give lessons. <laughs> oh, no, not the jump stick. No. The right, brother well, we'll jump. You know when you oh. jump it? When well, you he can't it jump it. He's got, he has rail. a wooden shaft. You can't jump with a wooden shaft wait, wait. anymore. Haven't they made that illegal? <laughs> if you the jump shaft didn't cost six hundred dollars, you can't you can't jump it unless the cue costs six hundred. <laughs> that was a pretty yeah, good yeah, shot. That was a great oh, shot. Oh, oh God! But you see what Come happened? On, the kid. cue ball when, <laughs> when, the, when the object ball is against the rail and you got to jump like that, the cue ball will get airborne off that ball, almost guaranteed. Yeah. And that's how it ends up off the table. You it did. Be super it went cool. up in the air. It you came it. down on the rail. That's how it got out there. That's one of yeah, the better yeah, shots out. I've it seen in a long that, time. But that, I don't think he knew what was going to happen. Shot. Yeah. On a 60-minute workout for Heck eight ball and nine ball, that's shot number 25, but I do it in a little harder position. And you shouldn't try it at home. It's way too hard. I agree. You did that with a full length, you didn't you? Oh, yeah. I was working with Tony Robles, and when he tried it, you could hear crashing all over the basement. But what I break now? What I break now? He broke a giant Texas Budweiser <laughs> sign, neon sign. <laughs> After he got the TV the day before. So we're three all. This is really a good match. It is I, a I'm good really match. Watching this match. Okay, another run. I still table. think it's winner should break. Guys. These guys are so good. Runnable. This is really a runnable table here. All you have to do is get on the correct side of the two ball and roll down here for the four, and that's it. Yep. God damn it. Uh, no, I think he's good. He's still okay. He's still okay, but he wanted to be off that rail. Yeah, yeah. If he can, well, I don't know. He doesn't want to touch the eight or the nine. Life would be easier if they were apart from each other, but he sure doesn't want to touch them. 
On the other hand, that might be the move. Go into him hard enough to roll down here for the four. Oh, oh. He went for all the money. Wasn't even trying that. <laughs> I know what you were trying to do, you greedy buzzard. Now you might be greedy again, huh? Go for the nine here. Maybe. He's been doing real well doing that. He is. No, he's not. <laughs> pretty good safety, though. It's a hard it was ball a to very jump. good safety. It's a, it's a pretty tough. That's a pretty tough kick. Do that as two rails, but that's not easy. So, you know, There's system. nothing easy from here. <laughs> Will he go to the wooden jump? I don't think there's a. I think you gotta try this two rails. Well, you see all these composite cues and composite shafts. You know how much money these guys are making? Wrapping up wood with a, a thin sheet of composite. This is real Shaft. tough. He, he wants to be. Yeah. The natural yeah. line here is from the second dot. Oh, wow. Oh, he almost made it. Oh, he spun the. Jesus out of that. that was really I cool. thought that was a good shot. The natural line. Yeah, the natural line was from the middle dot to the middle dot to the middle dot to the two. So it was yeah. he was on, on a very different line. He made that work. He did. I thought that was a really well hit ball. Yeah, just straight to the end rail and back. Avoid the corner pocket. Yeah. Pretty hard to mess up from here. You play that seven in the corner or the side? I do, absolutely in the corner. Me too. <laughs> I play seven in the corner, the eight in the other corner, and then the nine yes. in the same yes. as the side. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mess with the side. He's all right. That could have gone but, bad. He's all right. Yeah. He's all right, but he still has to. He has to. This isn't the easiest shot in the world. Even though the side pocket was close, that that was more complicated, I believe, than doing the corner route. I do too. I do too. I would. I would have shot it in the corner. All right, we have Donnie at four and Cody at three. Maybe it's time to get my dollar back in action. <laughs> it's gone back and forth a few times. It's probably I pretty know, bad. it's starting to look pretty ratty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm serious. I, 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 my table at home, I cannot access the side pockets. I can only shoot in the four corners. I don't even I, see them as an option. Anymore. It's really fun. I think that's good. Probably is. Well, you know, I tried to never to use a side pocket. Well, there's less chance to get out of line if you don't use them. Absolutely. I've come to view. You know, uh, rope, rope, rope. I've come to view. I also play snooker, and I've come to view the side pockets the same way I view the low number low value colors <laughs> there to get you back when you screw up and you're on the wrong end of the table those colors are the way you get back to the business end and i feel like the side pockets are generally the same they're only there to get you back in line you shouldn't really if, if you have to use it yeah you should i i, I believe you should up. i don't think you should play shape on them generally you should play shape in the corners and use those when i agree you know, wholeheartedly I agree wholeheartedly. Oh man, that's that's. that's do you good. enjoy snooker? I do. It's a really hard game. The patterns are really hard to understand for me. Anyway. But I do. It's enjoy. hard to move the cue ball around, isn't it? It is. It is. Um, and it's impossible to make a ball, right? 
It's much harder. You you can't put it off the sides of the pockets. It's got to go in clean. So if it touches that's what the they make you play in hell. <laughs> But you go watch Ronnie O'Sullivan and tell me how hard it looks. Let's see, it looks, it looks like a trivially easy game. Then get down there and try and do it yourself. <laughs> and it looks pretty uh, hard. I'll tell you, when you're staring down one corner of the table to the other opposite corner, it does feel like you're playing on a football. Yeah, it, it does. does. Oh, the, the table's six by 12. That's bigger than the room I grew up in. And the balls are smaller, the Q-tips mm. are smaller, the accuracy is... The pockets are smaller. Everything's smaller except the table, which is way bigger. Oh, nice shot. that worked out. If he sees that no, ball, that no, was... No, he's in trouble. He's got to jump that seven to make the four. Let's see if his jump cue's got wood on it. Yep, here it comes. It's bouncy. Yeah, these poor guys haven't come up with the extra 600 to get the, what do you call them, fiberglass jump cues or, well, he's throwing it right. It's a dark shot. <laughs> yeah, same problem here. Yeah. Very hard to do. This is hard to do. I know hard there are people that. That, oh. that, that, that now we're talking here. Now we're I talking. like I like that a lot better. Even though he missed it, I think the odds were much higher there. I do too. And he left a lot of distance. This isn't easy. And Cody hasn't really showed us anything yet. And his life's on the line right now. Good. He hit it real good. He hit it very well. In the center of the table. Yep, center of the table. And he's scared he's going to hit that eight ball on the way back up, isn't he? Maybe. He wants to get straight in on the six. Sorry, seven ball, my bad. Yeah. He's come, I think if he is drawing it, yep. Oof. Look. Oof. Now he wants to stay on the correct side of the seven, which is our side of the seven. I would have played, <laughs> again, I would have played this in the corner, but that's just me. But this is going to work just great. We're going to come across the table here. Okay, he's back in it, I think. This is a bit tricky. He's in a funny spot, funny angle here, because he's going to come right on to the nine. He's putting a lot of left on it. I just hit it with high. But he had a pretty good. He had a pretty good for a guy with a job. I'm assuming he has a job. I believe he pool, plays pool a lot. <laughs> He, he plays, that was, you know, he does look like he plays a lot. All right, 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, we're hill-hill hill hill again. I told you I didn't want to call this one. No, you were right. And my dollar's so beat up, I can't, I don't even want to fish it out of my pocket. Yeah. I still say this is too even a match to call. I mean, the score says it, but the play really says it. Yeah, yeah. Cody's the favorite because he's breaking. Isn't he? Oh, no. They switch breaks. Oh. Get that this is a, a brave new world. Get to the other side. <laughs> Move to the other pocket.
Boy, he stopped that ball. Oh. He did not make a ball on the break. He is not happy. No. All he's got to do is run down to the seven ball, shoot the seven in the rail right in front of that nine, and hard to miss. Hard to miss. He's, so missed three, he's missed three important balls. You know, it's funny. When he was setting up on that shot, he did not look comfortable. No. Uh, that's what happens in when you In 15 know, years, he's going to sit bolt upright in bed and remember that shot. Yep. I still do. I remember shots I missed 70 years ago, 60 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> It's really hard in, in the moment. It's really hard in the moment there to remember that you've only got two options when you're down on the shot. You can shoot it or stand up. You can't right. juggle or shift your body and it, nothing. You Past you five seconds ago, did their very best to get into the right position. If you don't believe it, stand up and do it again. That's right. Hey man, cut this up into the corner. Come down a bit. Give yourself some angle. Get on that six is tough. That's, don't mess I play with that it in the corner off. too. Now he's playing this side. He's coming around two rails out of the corner. Now you got 15, 15, 16 feet of oh, cue ball. To that, that, I would never have done that. I wouldn't have done that with your money. <laughs> you see, this this is it. This is a hill 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 game, and you can see yep. what's happening. Yeah, they're tightening up. They're both tighter than rusty spring doors. Do they still have spring doors? On old they don't have screen doors anymore, do they? <laughs> I have one. No? Then they must. Oh, man, he double kissed it. And he's going to feel pretty disappointed. Yeah. This They're isn't so easy, to pull though. the trigger. Yeah. They are. And you know, they, look here. You, you're over a ball. You want to stop it there and put the five up in the corner or something. It's not easy. It's not easy, but you're at the table. You're shooting. You have a chance to win. I agree. No, that's not good. Into it you got, I think, oh. Oh, he did He's it. got a shot. He's got a it. shot. Might have held it. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He's done. He's got a shot. Come on, find your mojo. It's time to make one, kid. And he didn't. He's pretty consistent hitting. He misses them all by about the same amount. <laughs> he looks like he should be playing so much better. I mean, he looks good at the table. He stands strong to the table. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, that's... That should be it. That should be say la B. I don't know if that ball's gonna pass. It's hard to see from here. I guess it does. I think it does. It does. And there it is, Donnie Davis for all the money. You know, he made three nine balls out of turn. In this you side. Did, you're right. 
you did. Three nine balls out of turn in this set. Okay, we're done here. What could be better but than you spending folks time at home, this is the Bass Pro Shop. A city that celebrates conservation that. and the great outdoors. It's like an aquarium and there's no better, that. more convenient place hey. to stay than at Bass Pro Shop's Angler's Lodge in Springfield, Missouri. That's right. Just the steps Lodge away from the granddaddy nice. of all outdoor stores and the wonders of wildlife museum and aquarium. Bass Pro Shop's Angler's oh, Lodge. <laughs> Your visit to America's conservation. I want to be there right better. now. But sometimes you're going <laughs> to scratch. If you learn this speed and it's easily learned, hey, that guy? you're not uh, going it's to be It's a good scratched. looking old fat guy. Uh, not hit as good as the rest, but that's okay. <laughs> now, when you have to get back to the other well, side the of the table, that's go shot sign up for the video. You got to want to go one that's rail and back to the other side of the table. That's exactly what he says. You take the time between the shots. What do you think he says? Listen to real up carefully. The shot, exactly you put the target on the other There's side. There's only 100 hours of instruction. up the shots for you, it might help you get in stroke, but what you're going to learn. You're going to be yep. playing and you're going to be in stroke and you need to be in stroke to play good. I'd say good. what Here, topics do you there's cover, pauses but it's probably each shot what topics so that you can bring you your entire I I cover mind to each shot. If you get, there's if you no come up from your chair, there's no way to come up from your chair without being in stroke Every and using single thing's different. your knowledge and ability to execute coming in fresh for each shot instead of relying on being in stroke to play. Knowledge and ability to execute and your memory is playing a big part here. Go to videos.burtkinister.com. Inside Pool Magazine, man. Still in biz after.